Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I will be talking with you about how you can remove the copyright footer line from your WordPress website. So uh, in this video, actually, I will be discussing with you the two methods uh, with which you can actually remove uh, the copyright for whatever reason. So let's get started. So first thing you need to log on to your WordPress dashboard and here you can see I have already logged in. Now uh, the first method is using CSS and if you cannot remove uh, the copyright with CSS then I will show you how you can remove the exact code. So starting first method using CSS just select the text and make a right click and click on inspect. And here you need to find out the class. So here we can see the class is being highlighted uh, is site-info. So how you are going to identify the class? The class will be inside the codes and will start like div and then class then equal to. So here I found like the name of the class is site-info. So after noting down the class, I will go here and click on customize. So no matter which theme you are using, you will have the option of additional CSS. Then you need to click here and now we will be typing dot and the class name. So in our case, the class name was, I also got forget. Let's just find it again, site dash info. So I'll be writing here site dash info. Now we need to start a bracket and then here we need to type the property as a display and none. So now here you can see the copyright text got removed and if you can still see it you can use exclamation and type important so in this way you will see that uh, there is no copyright text written here but let's say you want to customize it or you want to keep certain portion of it so for that uh, we will use method number two which is by removing that particular code from footer.php so do not worry guys regarding the code but uh, be sure that you uh, do not break your website. So I would recommend you to take a backup before trying this step. So uh, you can use any backup app. The one I would suggest you to have updraft plus package. Now uh, let's go back here to appearance and then click on theme editor. Now from here you need to find footer.php so if you are using child theme then you need to select the parent theme but here in my particular case I have only one theme installed so uh, I can easily find footer.php if in your case if you are using child theme then you need to select the parent theme and then from here you will see the footer.php so let's click on it now we need to find the same element and let's click on it so here it's site dash info so let's find out the same class here so i will uh, press ctrl and f and now i can type site dash info and here we go so as we can see this is my class name and this is the php so how you are going to uh, check the element that you need to delete is by uh, checking or finding the same class name. So here we can see the class name is site info that we have defined by uh, selecting the text and making the inspect. And here you can see the class name. So what actually we can do, we can select the whole class name and can delete it. So let me just delete it and click on update. And now it says five uh, edited successfully and let me just refresh it 
and after that we will find that th there is no copyright text written there so as you can see there is no copyright uh, section and I guess there is uh, one more section left and we can actually remove that one as well so while doing this uh, you need to be very careful and 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 you will be responsible if you make any error so make sure to have a backup before you are doing this and now you can see we have successfully removed the copyright that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye